This week we're going to work uh, side control. Okay. Uh, you know that it has a different ways to for your <coughs> lane of side control. You can have this one here. And even if I have my knee trap, uh, my knee touch his hip here, I can use this arm this way. We have this one. And of course, north south position. A lot of the attacks that uh, we can do from store from this here can turn and uh, go north south and spin for the other side. Got it? Important for side control. Huh? If I have a very solid side control him, he should not even attempt to move. Yeah? You gotta control him like judo players. Try escape for uh, side control for judo players. You can't. Because once they pin you down here, yeah, you have a few seconds to hold you here, 20 seconds, I don't know, 20, 25 seconds, and boom, it's done. Wrestling is the same thing too. You got some uh, wrestlers who hold in side control, you're not gonna move. <coughs> got it? Uh, for us, it, it's a little different. We, I'm still looking for hold him, establish my position, but we need to improve, yeah? If you grapple with each other, of course, if I, if I put him in this position, has some emergency uh, situation that he can, you have to be aware. Got it? And I, when you train this, you know that if you high mount, you know, high mount, back, put him <coughs> flat of his, uh, of his stomach, uh, uh, turtle position, you know, don't be too passive from position, uh, once you get there. And this here, the same thing. Let's say if I put him in this position, now he's, he's, he's in trouble. Well, you can see if we're fighting, MMA, that's a good position to hold him. Let's say that if you, you, you fight someone that is spazzy or you need to hold someone down, uh, that's a position that uh, you, you're gonna be able to use. Uh, if you need to use, let's say if I get someone in a, in a fight and they falls to his back, the first thing that they're gonna use once I land on, on top of him is gonna be in the stomach. Because it can dictate how much I have to hold this guy. Yeah, so if I put him in the stomach, he's it doesn't move, I'm good there. If you start moving, the depends how he's moving, I can capitalize for different position. Melt position, or if you start turning away from me, take his back. But if he's not, if I don't need, I don't need to get this close to him, right? So but 90% uh, of the juice that we use is against each other. Most of the time, we're gonna have to hold this guy tight before stack, uh, start attack him. Different stages of controlling, just a, a different stage of uh, 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 movements that he's gonna apply if I start control him. <coughs> Got it? But if, if I land side control, I pass his guard. Some situations you're gonna end up already here. Yeah, if, let's say that if I have my leg trap in a half guard here, boom, I start working for this. Now look, I'm already fully established once I pass. I'm already here. Got it? Sure. That's how you wanna stay. Super tight. So if you can see over this side here, my butt is not even touch on the ground. My head is low, I'm not doing this. Yeah, if you do this against Jamal, yeah, what is gonna boom, push across the face, no, push my, throw the leg over the head, yeah. Yeah, no, you catch here. If I stay low like this, there's not much you can do. And most attack, attacks that I'm gonna have, that I'll have to move much, is gonna come from this here. If I stay like this, not much, I'm too away from, far away from him. Does make sense? If I'm here, this, I'm already looking for arm bar can apply over this side, the Kimura that we can do over this side, and attacks I can do against this arm if, over here. And if you start moving this hand, you're gonna see what you can do on him, boom. Got it? Okay, but before we got this one here, land this, this position over here, boom, super tight, controlling. My hips, again, I push my hips against this rib cage. I wanna get much uh, uh, space possible. Let's say if I land like this here, boom. I, I will need to gain space. It's closing down my side control, uh, the near side. I want to make sure that I, oh, I get this here. It is not, it's a fight you're going to have to put on. It's not going to be that easy. It should not let me get this uh, control this, the way that I'm doing now. So lay both arms. Got it? Sorry. But if this happens, I want to push this arm here. The first one that I'm going to throw him, if I, I, if I see that I can manipulate the arm, do you understand? Enough is going to be forcing too much. I have a control here. I don't want to do less movement that I'll risk. But if I get control of this arm, I'm going to push his arm this way here, I'm going to throw this leg under, over. Boom, bend the arm, throw here. That's very, it's a very strong position. 
Just scare off. It's a key lock that you're doing using your leg. Just need to slide this way and turn. Got this one here, push the arm. Get the leg over. Ooh, yeah. Got it? That's the first one. The second one for this one here is gonna come for this. I got this control head down, and he's gonna try use uh, his hand to go across here to start to see if he can go in. A lot of times this, uh, this is gonna come down for first. Let it go ahead. He's gonna breach first and boom, yes, to get this arm over here. Got it? I'm, I'm expecting this. If I can do already in a, the crucifix position, it is, it, it's a better because I isolate this arm here. I'm not giving this arm for him to start. Defend the key lock, right? And if, if, even if it, let's say if I get the arm here, I'm still gonna do it this position. But if I isolate the arm, this is gonna be better for me. I take one arm away for him to defend the technique I'm gonna apply with this arm. What's stand? Yes, but uh, it's okay to attempt over here too. But if I can do this, throw over, good, better for me. Go ahead, throw the arm, boom. See my, and my hands so low that I, I connect pretty much with my, my forehead with my grip. Go again, boom. Now once I get this one, I already get, get a hold of the wrist, I'm gonna turn my hip towards him, towards the, uh, his hip, boom, my knee's gonna block. See my left knee turn, slide down. This way, block and go. Super tight. Got this one here. Go again. Boom. See, my, I use my head to pin his arm too. Helps a lot. Make sure his arm's not gonna move. Turn. Got this one. And the other one, that's a Mark favorite technique. He goes, yeah. Don't put your hand on my chest. Yes, there you go. This here. Once we get this one, this arm's gonna cover up on the elbow, and I'm gonna turn my my super tight to the same thing too. I'm kind of folding my body this way. Once I get this, got it? And this one's gonna be able to uh, to use, it's pretty much mistake for him to attempt. But when you see both arms get isolated, he knows that it's coming. Remember, all arm bar from this side here, if his arms stay here, he's gonna trick with bridging first, but if my weight's up here, the bridge is not gonna affect me much. Instead, if I sit like this one here, boom, once he move, look how much he create. But if I'm here, it's not much he's gonna do it. Got it? Sure. And again, this arm here, stay on him, get the arm, the wrist. It's the same, the same thing that I wanna do to isolate the arm for crucifix position. Do you understand? Sure. But if I lock my elbow, he's fighting to this way to take, bring his arm back, I'm gonna bend the arm, I'm gonna catch here. Bend your arm a little more. Yes, like this more. Ooh. Ooh. Good?